This is Camille Lambert, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids. I'm at our Kentucky PFR farm. I'm standing in a planting date study. Today is the summer solstice, longest day of the year. So I wanted to talk a little bit about soybeans and what that means. So soybeans are actually short day plants and they are dependent on night length. So the length of time between dusk and dawn. It was thought for years and years, agronomists thought soybeans would not flower until the longest day of the year. And now that we've been planting early for several years now, we know that that's actually not true. We've got a lot of soybeans with flowers on them. I've uh, been seeing flowers for several weeks now. So I wanted to jump over here and show you two plants that I pulled from the field. This one was planted on March the 17th, really early planting, the first window we had to get out in the field. So what I want to point out is node count. As we get closer to fungicide time, it's very important that you start counting the nodes on the plant as you're getting close to that um, R3 time. So looking for a pod in the top four nodes, one, two, three, four, that is a fourth of an inch long. We're not quite there yet, almost there, but it's very crucial that we count nodes. So we always start at the bottom of the plant, find the first node. It's actually right here. We've got all this branching happening because we did plant early. So start here. You almost have to feel for them sometimes. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then as long as these leaf blades are not touching, I would say we're pretty much there. 13 nodes. If you've been on a PFR tour or heard us talk at winter meetings, you know that nodes 6 to 13 are responsible for about 70% of the soybeans yield. And why that matters is because when you spray a fungicide, whatever trifoliate it hits, it is responsible for filling the pod at that specific node. So we want to make sure we have the, the major parts of our yield present whenever we spray the fungicide so that we're getting all the protection that we need. So this plant is getting very, very close to a fungicide application. Again, it was planted on March 17th. Move over here to April 28th planting. So you can tell we have quite a bit difference in size, a little bit of a difference. Height, we're, we're pretty much the same, I would say. Um, canopy closure, so here is the April 28th, the, one, the plant I'm about to show you. Here is our March 17th. It is more spotty. I'd say canopy closure is close to the same, but what about node count? We know that planting early, we have the opportunity to put more nodes on the plant. So let's see how many this plant has. So again, you start at the bottom, find the first node. So I'm right there. Then you move up one and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're almost three nodes behind. Now, when you hit R2, so full flower, which I would consider both of these plants still at R2, you will likely get 50% more nodes. So would you rather get 26 nodes or would you rather get 20 nodes? At every node, you have the opportunity to put on pods. So the more nodes, the more pods, the more pods, more seeds, more seeds, hopefully more yield. This is just something that I wanted to point out to you guys as we are getting closer to the fungicide application. If you have any specific questions, please reach out to your local BEX representative.